Hello folks, uh, the question for today is, it is 2010, October, November, paper 4-3 and the question number is 10. The first question that it states is, uh, state three properties of an ideal operational amplifier. So you can state any uh, three of the properties. So one of the uh, properties is that the open loop gain, which is the gain without feedback, that's equal to infinite, infinite gain. So the next is uh, uh, that uh, the input impedance Z in is equal to infinity and the output impedance Z out is equal to zero. So we can also have uh, uh, some other properties as the slew rate is infinite uh, and so on. So there are many properties so you can just uh, state uh, three of them. Now in the second question we have a circuit incorporating an ideal OP amp is to be used to indicate whether a door is uh, open or closed. Resistors each of resistance R, R are connected to the inputs of the OP amp as shown in figure 10.1. The switch S is attached to a door, so this switch, so that when the door is open, the switch is open, so that it means that uh, at this time the door is open. And the switch closes when the door is closed, so when this is closed, the door is closed. So this is the <coughs> conditions of the question. Now. The question that it asks is, 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 let me do it this way. So what it now asks is that, explain why the polarity of the output of the OP amp changes when the switch closes. So when the switch closes, the polarity of the output changes. So we have to explain that. In order to explain that, uh, we have to redraw this figure, this figure for open and closed situation. So I have uh, drawn it previously and uh, uh, brought it directly because if I draw it here, it will be very long time. So I have done this I have done this So when the uh, switch is open the switch is open. This is of no significance So that's why my circuit is like this So we have a voltage divider formed by R and R and we have another voltage divider formed by R and this to R So what happens here is this is 3 volt. So the volt here should be equal to equal to half of this 3 because the two resistors are equal so r by r plus r into 3 is 1 by 2 to 3 which is equal to 1.5 volts so here it is 1.5 volt now here we have got 2r by r plus 2r which is 3r into 3 so that's equal to 2 volt so this is 2 volt 2 volt it means here uh, the plus is uh, the input at the non inverting terminal is higher so that's why the output is positive the output is positive at that time now when now when 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 we have uh, <coughs> the the, the uh, in the second situation which means that uh, second situation means that means that means that when 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 we uh, when the switch closes <coughs> when the switch closes <coughs> switch close means that we have a short circuit here short circuit here so the circuit will be like this and this r is useless when we have this, this R is useless, so I have removed this R and just use this short circuit here. So in this uh, in this path, what we have is all this potential difference will be uh, will be appearing across this R because here we have no R. So that means it's equal to three volt from here to here. It is three volt, so this is three volt, three volt, and this is again two. So at that time we have the inverting input is greater. That's why the output here is minus so that means initially the door was open when the door is closed the output will be jumping from plus to minus initially plus and then it is minus when we when we when we uh, when we when we uh, close the door when you close the door or close the switch so 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 what the question says is so it's the same thing here when you close the switch the output goes from plus to minus so we have to uh, tell this in a language and with this explanation I think you can do that with this explanation so initially it is plus then it becomes minus because of several factors here now in the second question what it asks is a red light emitting diode is to be used to indicate when the door is open a green LED is to indicate whether the door is closed so in such situations, we always have a pair of diodes. So let us first draw these these things. Let us first draw the diodes. We'll then identify which one is 
uh, red and which one is green so this is the arrangement of the diodes like this like this and like this and their symbol is like this arrow and their symbol is like this arrow like this now what it says is uh, we have to say, we have to state here first we have to draw symbols for the diets to show how they are connected so these are the diets then uh, we have to identify the green LED with the letter G which means we have to identify that LED which will be which is going to be uh, which, which will be the green one and this is uh, the green one will indicate where the door is closed so now what happens is initially when this door was open when this door was open we had we had we had the output is positive the output is positive so at positive voltage we have to have red led glowing when this is positive when this is positive we have to have red led glowing so that means that the red LED should be like this. This should be the red LED because when this is positive, this is P, it conducts, or we can say negative, negative, it conducts. So it, 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 it means that when it is open, this is positive and the red should be glowing here. So this should be R. Then a green LED is to indicate whether it's closed. So when it is closed, closed means this situation, this is negative. So when this is negative, we must have we must have this diet should be uh, glowing so that means it should be green it should be green so this is the complete answer for this whole question this whole question in a long form uh, if I draw it uh, right during explanation it could be even longer so what I did was I drew it uh, outside and brought it directly here so that uh, the time is slightly shortened